Okay, Stella's ready for another shop video. This is our personal car. This is our 1990 Ford Mustang GT with the five liter engine. And it has a few modifications. It's a super fun family car. It's not super powerful, but it is a classic Mustang or what some people might call a classic Mustang. It looks good, drives good. We took it on a picnic last night. Yesterday was 75 degrees. Today is a little cooler and cloudier and it started misfiring. And I thought, well, that's strange. Why is it misfiring? So we're gonna check a couple things and uh, see if we can figure out why it was misfiring. I think I have an idea, so follow along. Okay, so we're working on our not-so-fabulous Ford Mustang. Pulled all the plugs out of here. I'm tracing out a miss, and most of the spark plugs look pretty good, except this one. See that one? It's a little wet. So we're going to put some new plugs in it. I don't know why that's wet. It's got some oil on it. Hmm. Concerns me a little bit. Let's put some new plugs in it and see what happens. Okay, so we pulled the plugs out of the driver's side as well. And uh, we have one on that side, the second one that was this one. Yeah, looks like it's burning a little oil as well. It's a little wet and compared to a new plug. Just gonna put new plugs in it and see what happens. Okay, so we power washed our manifolds here for our Ford. Got them as clean as we could. Not as clean as I'd like, but I really don't want to sandblast them. And they're drying here in the sun. I got the uh, ports masked off and the can of paint just warming up here in the sun. So we're going to go ahead and spray them and hopefully they'll come out good. Oh, I also took some wax and grease remover and wiped them down. Make sure there's no no grease or gum or varnish. It's all in the prep. It's, painting is always 95% prep, 5% spray. All right, so now we have our newly, freshly cleaned and painted intake for the Ford. We'll pull off the masking. Came out pretty good. All we have to do is put those in there. So we got to disassemble everything, let it cool off, and drain the coolant. All right, so we got the factory stock intake off the Mustang. And I've got them laying over here on the floor. Comparison, this one here to the right is the stock one. Look at the difference. The intake here is pretty skinny. Just comes in and feeds this whole manifold. And look at this one. It widens quite a ways up. There's a huge difference between the GT40 or the Explorer intake and the factory Mustang. The problem is with buying this used, I didn't get that EGR plate there so I've got to take that off and somehow adapt it this is five millimeters smaller than that so I've got to figure out if I can port that or how to make that all hook up so we'll work on that next okay so after heating up the throttle body spacer a whole bunch of old parts I think I finally got it Yep, it's finally loose. Jeez, that only took me like an hour. All right, so we got the intake off. Looks pretty good down in there. No sludge, no buildup on the valves, nothing like that. These heads are pretty new. They've only got about 5,000 miles on them. They're GT40 heads. And we're doing our intake swap here. And this is the old intake manifold, the original stock 5.0 Ford. And I'm kind of disappointed. I was expecting to find some type of a crack or indication of why I'm getting oil burning in the, I think it's this cylinder and this cylinder. The new manifold, which is the GT41, has a much bigger breather plate or windage tray for keeping oil vapors out of the out of the PCV valve, and maybe that's my problem. I'm not sure, but the PCV valve windage tray on this one is quite small compared to this one, and that could be my oil burning problem. But I was expecting to find, because I ported this manifold and I thought I broke through, 
but I think it was here. I think I fixed that. So I don't know. I'm a little, I'm a little um, befuddled. Now I'm thinking about pulling the heads off. <laughs> uh, or something. Okay, so I may have figured out why my car has been using some oil. This is the back of the stock 5.0 original intake manifold. This is the GT40 manifold. In the back here, there's a provision for the PCV valve, which is the crankcase ventilation. And I didn't realize it, but down in the hole, there's this wire mesh thing. This thing was completely plugged. Uh, it was just a big old goop of oil. I just cleaned it out and, uh, well, I popped it out, cleaned it out. That may be my PCV valve wasn't working because it couldn't pull through that. So the way this works, I'm going to put this in the clean one, is that goes in first, then the grommet and the PCV valve goes in next. And of course, it's got a, a windage tray on the underside of the manifold there to keep oil from splashing directly into it. So this old one was plugged and it has half the windage tray, just a little corner piece like that, and also probably an old wore out grommet and PCV valve. So that may have been what it was. I thought there was something going on because it was fouling these uh, front cylinders that the oil burning had to have something to do with those. But I'm going to try this new PCV system and see how that works. Um, and if I need to, I can actually pull it off on the car and pull that out of there. So, all right, well, we're going to put it back together. Okay, so this is what's left of our dirty, grimy, factory 5.0 Mustang intake. It's on the ground here, and I got the new one on the car. It took a while, and there was some modifications I had to do. The throttle body needed a little uh, bolt removal with a torch, and then I ported out the 70 millimeter throttle body to match the 70 millimeter intake, and the vacuum lines are all different for the Explorer than they are for the Mustang. You can see this is for the um, charcoal canister system that this car is OBD1 and, and the Explorer is OBD2. So the vacuum lines are all hooked up and my PCV is totally routed differently. I think that might have been my oil, oil burning problem altogether. The fire trap was plugged, which is the screen, and I don't know if my PCV valve was even working. So the trouble I had was under heavy deacceleration, like downshifting into second, like at a fast speed, it would really puff out the back. And that could have just been windage. This intake manifold has quite a bit larger windage uh, tray in it, which might block the oil from getting up to the intake and burning oil. So uh, I think I've got everything hooked up except for coolant um, and my vacuum lines. I'm not sure. Where, I'm gonna give her a fire and see what happens. Let's see what it sounds like. Oh, look. Somebody's taking residence in the car. Well, let's see. Make sure it's out of gear. We do have a fuel pump. I hope it turns over. Ooh, fired right up. That's nice. Idle's right where it should, too. Sounds good. A little smoke coming off there. That's promising. Sounds great. That's where I spilled a little coolant earlier. Well, alright, let me button this thing up, put some coolant in it, and we'll go for a drive. Alright, so we're out driving our new intake swap Mustang. Seems like it goes pretty good. Stella's going to get in the passenger seat with me. Hasn't blown up yet. I'll know in a couple days once the computer kind of relearns and idle settles out and enjoy it. Top down. Dog by my side. <laughs> 